All right, meteorologist Dean Davidson, the weather pros, live, weatherblocks.com, taking a look at what's going on across the country currently. With winter weather advisory, you can see central Virginia, backs out to Bedford County. Roanoke's not in, I'll explain that in a few minutes. Back here through Kentucky and the areas such as Tennessee, back here through Texas, you winter storm warning for ice. And we got the winter storm warnings up here where the heaviest snowfall is going to occur, which is going to be not only uh, up here in Bergen County, New Jersey, but also up here in the Massachusetts, Connecticut area. So we'll show you what's going on precipitation-wise. This storm will move in around probably 9 and, and a little after 9 o'clock. This is a clipper system that's going to function to a low off the coast. As you see, there's a small low right here trying to develop here off the Delaware coast. That's actually going to make rain here in the Delaware Valley to start. That's why you're not going to see very much in the way of snowfall when it comes to accumulation type. Moves over, you see, we do get a fill-in, and it does happen over Roanoke and, and points to the east. North Carolina will, will be a winner in this snowfall, for sure, um, as this thing moves to the east and out to sea. Like you see, mainly from a clipper-type system, you get some snow from across uh, Philly Metro, comes into parts of southern New Jersey, light snowfall, and then pff, out to sea, gone. As to NAM, we'll go to the GFS. So I, I like looking at multiple sources here. I'm very much a multiple source person. Um, I don't like seeing just one thing being shown. So I will show it here. And after that, I'll show you the uh, snow accumulation. And then I will show you, go back to the NAM and show you that. But much like the other one, uh, you just show the snow. Actually, it shows more snow on the GFS likely than what you'll see here. And this goes way out towards the end of the month, which is what I've been showing there. So we'll go to snow accumulation here. It could be a whole lot, but there's a is a much bigger difference in some of these models. GFS right here, Roanoke would have Roanoke right in the two inch mark. This is the 12 Z, so I, two to three inch mark shows, but you see Jersey not even an inch. So you see, this is the situation we're running into, and even in this last period of time, we're running into this situation. I'll show you the NAM nest here, and then move it through, and then pull the 10 to 1 accumulation chart, and pull that across and show you what that shows. And that's a lot different also. We're talking about half an inch snow versus two inches of snow. With the NAM in the Roanoke area. So, this is where we have the issue which will outweigh. GFS has not been great by no means. So, I'm going to go to the HER model because we're getting within that uh, time frame. We could be able to use the HRRR model. I have to back up a run because it just put out a brand spanking new one. Make sure it goes through, or at least through where it needs to go to. And pull up the 10 to 1. This is already showing point 2, and this didn't have the whole entire thing. It's only beginning of the storm. So, my general consensus is going to be a 1 to 3 inch snowstorm. The 1 to 2 will be in the Roanoke area, the 2 to 3 will be closer to Bedford in that area, in Lynchburg, and central parts of the state. So it ought to be interesting, um, but that's what I'm seeing here. Not much snow up here in New Jersey, possibly up to an inch at the best in that area, but that's what we're showing, and the models are showing it's time. So the census tells me one to two inches in the Roanoke area, two to four, I mean two to three in Bedford, and then two to four generally outside that. South side may have a little heavier. Other than that, uh, North and west of Philadelphia, up through parts of New Jersey, and then up into Massachusetts, Connecticut. They look to have the biggest impact from the storm. We'll keep you updated, and we'll have another report then later. Meteorologist Team Davidson, the weather proves. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.